A while back, a viewer of our XLME YouTube channel raised an interesting question. He wanted to know whether it's possible to change the cell color if the dates changed. The answer is yes. We can do this using the conditional formatting feature of Excel. Hey there, Excel enthusiasts. Welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA related challenges. I'm Shahriar Abra Rafid and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to change cell color if the date changes. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Imagine you have a dataset with product names and delivery dates. The date column is sorted and we want to change the cell color whenever the delivery dates change. So let's dive right into it. First, select the range of cells containing your data. In this case, our data is in cells B5 to C13. Then apply a fill color to this region. Now go to the Home tab, click on the Conditional Formatting drop down and select the New Rule option. It opens the new formatting rule dialog box. Choose Use a formula to determine which cells to format as the rule type. In Edit the Rule Description section, put the formula in the format values where this formula is true box. Here I am writing my formula equal to is odd, opening parenthesis, count A, opening parenthesis, unique, opening parenthesis, C5 to C5. Let's break down the formula step by step. In this formula, we are referencing column C starting from the C5 cell. So, the first cell reference is absolute. However, the second cell reference has a mixed reference where the column letter is locked and the row number changes when the formula is applied to the cells below. The unique function gets a unique list of values from the specified range. In this case, it takes all the values starting from cell C5 up to the current row and returns only the unique values. The count function counts only the unique values returned by the unique function. That is, whenever the date changes, the combination of count a and unique functions increases the count by 1. Lastly, the isOrd function checks if the count of unique dates is an odd number. If it's odd, the function returns true, otherwise it returns false. If the count of unique dates up to that row is odd, it means the isOrd function returns true, so the formatting is applied. If the count is even, this means a new date has been encountered, but the is odd function returns false, so the formatting will not be applied. Upon encountering a new date, the count becomes odd again and the formatting will be applied. Now let's mention the formatting. So click on the format button. Here in the format cells dialog box, go to the fill tab. Again I am selecting a light fill color. Here is the sample and click OK. Again click OK to close this dialog box. These two dates are same. So the fill color is also same. Here date changes and the fill color gets changed also. Now make a change in any cell and see the magic. Here in cell C10, I'll change the date to 6 September 2023. These two cells got the same fill color as they have the same date now. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. You can have a glance at exceldemy.com or join our thriving exceldemy community forum where you can post your excel and VBA challenges and get solutions from experts and fellow users. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.